Hey everybody, welcome back. So we're going to get started here in a minute. I think we're just about done scaling. We probably need to do some iron things, but honestly, I think we're okay on that for now. Rather, steel. Before we get going, friendly reminder, we have a Discord now, so you can feel free to join us and hang out. There are discussions about what mods we're going to play next. Well, not that we're going to switch mod packs, but um, there is talk of a Death World run and also like train mods, LTN and TSM and stuff like that and back and forth, screenshots, videos of cool stuff getting posted other than this channel. So definitely feel free to join us. Let's see. Let's pull up our last video here. Get the comments. I think there was just one again. I think DJ isn't fully caught up right now, so we're just running on Gort power here. Uh, Gort with the reminder of how to remove uh, wires. You just hold copper wire and and click on it. And I the, the funny thing is, Gort, I knew that, and I forget it. I've done that many times, and I always have to be reminded or look it up. All right, DJ, you commented in the nick of time and I'm recording this in post. So this video, the rest of this video is recorded before I saw your comment or before you made it rather. So I do love the sound of the rocket launches too. They are the siren that plays before them. Those are awesome too. That's one of my favorite things. Satellite telemetry from the silo into a warehouse and basically do circuit logic on it um you'll see spoiler alert in this video we we kind of get into that i didn't do it as nicely as you described but we kind of go in that direction in this uh please keep the silence and that's useful feedback um i kind of agree I, you know i the, the point of these videos is not to be non-stop stimulation and and thinking and yeah the train signals thing I still think that some of it eludes me. I think that they're, you know, some of the more advanced train design and stuff is beyond my grasp yet because I haven't ever scaled that high. Um, don't think that the intersections are that hard, especially if you have redundance. Redundancy? Redundance? I just don't think that optimizing intersections is the biggest deal. I, I always... Rather than to optimize something small perfectly, I'd rather just make more of it. That's always my, my approach. So, let's see. You know what? So, the, I think what we're going to do for this run here today, long play 31, is we're going to get that battery, that steam battery, finished off here. We are going to get this fully powered. Uh, we're probably going to be moving the contents of it around, and we're not even fully charged yet, but it looks like we're running. Uh, we have enough power to run it. We probably should make another one of these, figure out what we're doing there. Maybe we start, maybe we move this umbrella out of the way and, and start dragging this over further and start building out this way. I feel like we're going to need to do that. Uh, we could also probably, if we if we turn this right here and bring it down, or right over here, we should be able to do another battery of these just on the south side here. So we're going to do some power scaling. We're going, like I said, I think we're going to try to move this battery. We're at about... 60 to 65 percent charge here it looks like looks like it's pretty stabilized across all of them all of them are at 16k out of 25 so we'll do that and then hmm we we do have to figure out that that turbine layout with these so we'll probably start to do that as well looks like oh yeah that's right we started to do that over here and Honestly, I'm kind of thinking we move that, honestly, right? And and bring it, like, where we have lots of room. 
but also somewhere where it can't be damaged. Maybe we pull it down here. We have room for this here. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking we pull this down here. By the way, we really uh, kind of limited our bus here with this intersection here, but that's no big deal. Rail is easy enough to, to move, so I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, let's see. Let's open up our little to-do list. Oh, we have to launch more satellites. Um, hmm. So we'll file that under umbrella prep. Uh, let's see. Hook up steel to train iron. Do that. We have to do that at some point here. I already forgot what one of the things I said we were going to do is steam battery. I forget. What else were we going to do? Hmm. Why is there a giant? Why is this right here? It just seems like a, a weird place for the planet icon. I mean, I, I get it. Like this novice, was this always here? And I just never noticed that it had that icon. It's just kind of weird. Whatever. Oh, yeah. And maybe scale up some power here because we could use another bank of those. But... Part of the problem here is, is that we have an automated steam engines and boilers, I don't think. Here, let me let me take a look here in the spaghetti town. Yeah, I don't think we did. Let's see what the ingredients are on them. Pipe and stone furnace. So that would be right over here if we were going to be able to do it. We do have pipes right there. Boy, this is tight, though. Uh... We could maybe do something like, could maybe do like this, and then we'll do a filter inserter on the pipes to get them over here, and then, oh, this is perfect. The spa Sometimes spaghetti is fate, and this is one of those times, one of those times. So this guy is going to make boilers. What's the recipe for a steam engine, though? Okay, good. Totally different. Remind myself what the stack size is on these. We'll check back in a minute. Uh, we need motors, iron plates, and gears. So let's poke around here. We got gears right there. Got motors up here. So motors, no iron plates, though, up there. Hmm... Interesting. Motors and iron plates here, no gears, but we could always... Hmm. That's seven in a row. We would need blue belts to get under this. Although, we could probably still make this work if we really wanted to make some spaghetti tonight. Let's see. Okay, there you go. Oh. <laughs> uh, you hate to see that. because my armor wasn't on. Okay, there we go. Wow, that kind of hurt. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go this way with this. 
because this over here is going to be train loading unloading area and in fact i mean theoretically aren't we going to be doing all of our research in space from here on out so i feel like i feel like this goes the way that let's see if there's any research we should get out of the way by the way spike steel wall i mean why not right let's do breaking force that's a good one to get out of the way uh, but at some point soon i think this goes away let's go launch a satellite I guess we're pretty close to being able to turn the satellites onto auto again. I mean, not like this insanity where we had a giant belt of satellites, but I feel like we could do auto launch with cargo now. We have enough resources on everything that I think we should be okay with that. See what we discovered. Horkos. What is Horkos? It's a coal planet. Waterless. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hello, Horkos. Ooh, cryonite. I hear that's good. I don't know what it is, but I hear it's it's a thing that you need. Okay. Let's see how we're doing over here. This guy's just plugging along. I don't want to do these researches just to get them out of my face. They're distracting. Yeah, let's just start banging them out. We have resources now. Should be able to do that without issue, I think. So I think we come over here. Ah, oh, it's so hard to tell. The mall could go up there. It could come over here. I feel like this is the more sensible area. Let's go this way. And then what? Yeah, I feel like we go this way. So we need... Motors, iron plates. Uh, that's really it, isn't it? Uh-oh. We might need to spread some more democracy. It's been a while. Uh, we also... I don't think we've automated repair packs yet, so we'll have to take care of that, too. Wow. So we definitely took... Okay. Okay. Definitely took some heat there, and it looks like it's because of this guy here. Why do my bullets do, like, nothing now? Well, at least they hurt the nests really fast. Oh. Wow, that was close. Is that a big biter already? That is a big biter indeed. That's why my bullets do nothing. I thought we were fighting mediums. Hmm. Kinda hard. Wish I hadn't wasted all that railgun ammo. Think we might need to invest in a tank. We were talking about that a while ago, and then... We got distracted by the peaceful nature of our circumstances, but this really... <laughs> I think my to-do list is about to get updated. Hey guys, come hang out my, at uh, my house over here, please, for a second while I update my to-do list. I'd appreciate that. Let's see. Get a tank. And tank ammo. Wow. 
I guess big biters just happened. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, automate repair packs. So let's kick these both up. Okay, so stone, iron plate, copper plate. We have stone over here. Okay, we're doing good on that. We got distracted. We need to... We don't have it on our to-do list, so how are we going to do it? We need to do... Uh, uh, steam engines. Okay. And I think that's what we were over here doing. Boy, that tank, though. Really want that tank. Hey, I can make one. So, we want to go right to... Explosive... Shells. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Plastic bar, explosives, and steel plates. So we have explosives right here. We should... We have plastic right there that we could cut off. And then steel plate. Almost kind of want to bring it... Down over here. Whoops. I think we could have did that. Because that lane doesn't seem to be used by anything, but... Hey, maybe we'll put steel on that. Or plastic or something. Because plastic... Is going to be used by more stuff over yeah let's do plastic on that let's just sneak it on right over here uh like right right about here then we will uh Whoopsies. Why didn't I just rotate that? Whatever, there we go. Could get bots, like the ones that you throw down that are disposable. That always made me sad though. It just costs so much resources. All right, there we go. I get some plastic over here. So then you kind of got steel, plastic, and now you could pull explosives right from here. I wonder why I even have them in there, in this box.
cluster bombs. That sounds cool. I wonder, is that only for the ironclad, I guess? Oh, I'll help if I did this. We should probably start factoring substations into our design here. How's our uh, speed modules doing? Probably go get some solid fuel and dump it into a chest that feeds that, right? Sorry, guys, I need to borrow that. Cool. So we got... We have a tank and we have shells for it on the way. What for spreading democracy to, how shall we put this? Spreading democracy to factory deniers. That's, that's what we'll say. Okay, so I'm not going to check that off until I have it on me. Ooh, Pentium. Uh-oh, we're going to get sued. What's that? V vitamins. We're kind of like accidentally building a main bus up here at this point. Kind of just happening. And maybe that's, maybe there's a, a strong statement there that that's what malls are meant, how they're meant to be built. Who knows? Uh, okay, so gear wheels, motors and plates. One of these, one of these, and one of them. There we go. So we got those on the way now. Now, let's also go figure this out. What's the best way to do this? I want to... Let's see if I can figure this out. Let's see how 
Let's see how cash money I am. I think we got it. Okay. Of course, these power poles, hey, guess what we have? We have big boys. Oh, marshes. Is there anything you can't ruin? to supply this with water though, aren't we? That's okay. That's a future me problem. So hard to tell if you're going to have enough. See, some of these pumps aren't, aren't even being leveraged. So like this one and that one aren't, which I think, especially given that these guys seem to be starving on water, I think that that's an indicator that... We are pipe throughput limited, I think. Not positive about that. Yttrium. Go uh, unblock some more satellites. And also monitor the, uh, the bus while we're doing good on telemetry. We got... Wait, I think everything is, is moving. We got, we got everything right now. We got it all. I mean, I know we're going to have to scale more, but still, I'm very happy about that. Okay. Uh, what do we come down here for? Oh, satellites, that's right. Another five will do. Well, that's not good. Okay. Let's get... We need some boilers. Where did we do that? We did that over here. Don't need that many. We need some steam engines. Uh, oh. Wow, those stack sizes are way different. Whoopsies. All right. Well, we have to wait anyway. Uh, offshore pumps. Where? Okay, we already have several of those. So, given that that's throughput limited there, what I'm going to try to do... I really... This is a very difficult thing to scale, in my opinion. So I'm thinking, like here and here, then we'll just, mm, I 
This is challenging. Gore, I'm curious your take on this, buddy. Um, um, you know, you said that you had a similar setup with your with the solar backup, so I'm curious what uh what you do about this situation that I find myself in. Like, how do you... Do you just have huge arrays of pipes running next to each other for water? Why are we... Oh, because the... Mm, 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 mm. I get it. We don't have enough power here to run everything. That's what's... But what? Hold on. What? Okay, so we're running the fuel refineries. That's probably what's killing it. The fuel refineries. So let's go, let's go like double that up. What did I, oh. I'm having a lot of, um, having a lot of moments here where I like walk into the room, completely forget what I'm in there for. Let's go get some landfill. And while we're at it, where where is that landfill guy? I know it's right. Why are we not? Wow, that's kind of a, that's kind of stupid. Good thing I saw that. We were com had effectively had a yellow belt there. Okay, what did I come over here for? See, here we go again. There's the... Where? We had a landfill maker here. Where did it go? Where did it go? Come on. Did I tear it down? I must have torn it down. Huh. Alright, what do we want to do then? I mean, this guy does have this other belt just sitting here asking to be... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no, we're good, though. Why do I feel like I messed all this up? What did this look like before? Yeah, that's what it looked like. There we go. Haka. Wow, that was some flagrant running across train tracks again. Let's see if these guys can handle it. Not entirely, although are they starving on power? Uh, they are a bit. Not today, train.
Uh oh. I got into this thing again. How do I... How do I... Okay, how do I close the map editor? Can we... Can we tell that? There. Oh, I'm not a person anymore. There we are. Wow. I should have gotten run over by that train. But I wasn't a person. Wow, that was upsetting. I really didn't like not being a person. Wow, I'm like completely discombobulated from that. That's, uh... Alright. Okay, so hopefully that's enough to sort us out there. Uh, we should have enough tank shells now. So we automated steam engines. We got that. Uh, repair packs. Let's get that out of the way while we're at it. Uh, copper plates, iron plates, and stone that was, I think, right? Let's see. Indeed. So there's some stone for you, but iron plates, copper plates, not so close. Let's see up here. Copper plates, iron plates, no stone. Hmm, you got some stone wiggling its way through here, right to there. Uh, copper plates, no iron plates. Feel like we might have to get creative here. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna. I think we're gonna. Uh, it's the best place to cut that off. Let's see if we had coming in from over there. Could just go up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We like this. Why was this link? Oh, that was. I tore that down. Well, it's like it was. See, it's always fate with spaghetti. It's always destiny. Okay, so we're going to need to be up here. Theoden, that's a cool name. Isn't that the guy from Lord of the Rings? Not, I love the series, but I'm not the biggest Lord of the Rings guy, so I don't remember. But I do like it. What are you coming here for? I'm um, really being forgetful today. Repair packs. Thank you. Okay, so that's going to be iron. That's going to be stone. These we're going to... Duck. Uh-oh. I don't even... What the... What is that? What... What even is that right there? That spaghetti... That was going to be multi-cylinder engines, is what that was going to be, but it's not hooked up yet. So we're going to leave that, because that could still be useful later on. I think there's a saying, something along the lines of, never burn a spaghetti bridge, or something like that. I forget how it goes. Isn't that how it goes? Basically, you never... Never rule out spaghetti. You never know when you're going to need it. 
You might think you're tough. You might think you're one of these factorial rock stars who can do anything, scale anything, do it perfectly, beautifully. But then one night, one rainy night, you'll be drunkenly on the doorstep begging spaghetti to let you in. Okay, repair packs are done. Uh, let's see, how big is that stone patch that we have coming in by train? Whoopsie. 2.9 million? 2.9 million divided by 50. It's uh, 60,000 ish. 50 something thousand, 58 or 59,000. Let's see how good I did that. One sec. Where's my calculator? I can't even find the calculator. It doesn't even. Come on, guys. Oh, there it is. Fifty-eight thousand. That's how many landfill we can make out of that stone patch. Uh, hopefully, we've set our chest limits enough so that we don't turn that entire stone patch into landfill. I think we... yeah, we're good. We have 600. We will spend 3,000? Wow, that's surprisingly low. Is it really that low? No. 30,000. 30,000 of the stone, because it's times 50, not times 5. Okay. So. Now what? Well, we have our list. Uh, we probably should do... Pull this belt off of the iron. And then bring it down to the steel. Because there's really two places that it... I'll see, but we still have this. Hmm, we're not starving on steel for now. I mean, I know we're gonna, we definitely are using a lot more of it, but the way that we set this up is kind of goofy. Because you have one steel array that's run off of this smelter. Oh, well, I guess they both, okay, no, they're, they're, they're both the same. We're, we're not starving on this yet. Uh, we definitely have some kind of balancing issue but it, it doesn't really matter because it kind of figures itself out how much uh oh wait wrong one that one's long since gone wow still quite a bit of iron left in that patch so we're gonna be we're gonna be using that for a while. Let's see. Pazu. That's right. We haven't checked the Universe Explorer for a while. Oh wow, we got all sorts of stuff to look at. I don't know what to do it with all that one. Almanite. That's an interesting one. Does it have like a? Is there one for how far out it is? Like how deep is this thing? Delta V. Delta V from Novice. I don't even know what that... Oh, is that's like the delta velocity, right? In the... Like how much... So that's going to dictate how much fuel you need, probably. I wonder if there's like travel time. Oh, interstellar map. I'm so excited for that to like start to look at that. That's crazy. How do I get out of it? Can I, how do I leave? I don't want to be here anymore. How do I, how do I, come on guys, you know, probably my biggest gripe about this 
Okay, I can click. How do, do I have to go look up the hotkey? Okay, there's no button for interstellar maps, so here we go. Okay, how do I close the map, guys? I... Okay, N. The answer is N. Well, this core mining operation over here, we have to get that back online. Rocket fuel from water. I'm still weirded out by that one. Like, what is that? Let's get this out of the way. Uranium text plates. Here we go. Something we can't use, but I want it off my research screen. Ah, yes, our 13K of copper ore. And so our rainy day copper ore fund. Exoskeleton equipment. That's exciting-ish. Rocket reusability. Are we getting... Nuclear power. I definitely want that. We are going to want that. Let's kind of take another look here. I feel like that's the patch we go for, and we just go over, cut our way over. We got... What are those spikes? Uh, how much damage do those spiked concrete walls do? I wonder if it's enough to matter. Okay, but, like, how much, guys? Can you Can you tell me how much damage to the attacker it does? Whatever. What's... Concrete versus... Doesn't tell me that either. So I guess I gotta place it to know? Well, I guess let's make one by hand. Okay, so 800 for concrete versus 350, so more than double. And then let's go ahead and make a spiky boy. 1,000. But it, it won't damage me, so I think we have to go test this the hard way. Get us some steel. All right, here we go. Time for some time for some democracy science. No, not you. Hey, democracy people. Let's talk. Let's hang out. I got some stuff to discuss here, so... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, not like that. Ah, uh, it's a spitter nest. Uh... Here we go. All right, let's 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 get smarter here. We want regular biters. We don't want spitters. You've got two spitter spawners there. Do so we leave this nest and kill the others if we can even swing this? So I don't want to do that. Wow. Wow. Oh, nope, don't hurt that one. We need them for science. Drive by. Oh no, he got me. I got tagged. All right, these, these guys probably can be useful. Let's see. Oh no, they're not useful. No, leave me alone. Why? Um. Uh... Stop it. All right, all right, all right. No. Whew. 
Okay, give me that. G guys, guys. This is so rude. Okay, we're close. We're close, we're close, we're close. There we go. We got a box. Now I just need to get in it. Please, please. No, I missed the landing zone. Okay. Okay. Okay, not very effective at all. something here those spiky walls are in my opinion not worth the money you tell me right you tell me I really I don't see the use there because they're only a thousand versus 800 and I mean I guess like everybody a little bit helps but just I think what's going to be more important is robo pack. Uh, they have robo packs, robo ports, and repair packs being automated, right? What were we even doing? Uh, we're not doing this. Uh, let's see. Tank and tank ammo, umbrella prep. We are at T minus six hours and 22 minutes. Uh, we've been launching more satellites. Let's do one more round of that. Wonder what the like. This is going to sound like a stupid question, but I wonder what the best way to limit this thing is, because I don't want a belt full of satellites, or do I? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's just not taking it because, okay, we do have, <laughs> I thought we were about to reuse the title. What's the easiest way to do this? How do you limit... How do you tell this thing not to fill this belt up? We tried to do this before with the these guns, and we failed miserably at it. It was awful. I don't think we ever finished putting down our new power. <laughs> Whoops. We just need steam engines. Well, we're still doing pretty awful on power. Um, partially, because we never hooked up that row right there. There we go. So that gave us another like 20-ish megawatts. We're doing terrible on power, but we're doing better than we were. We basically... We're running not quite full time on these, but not too far off either. Okay. Ah, wow, this has been a dynamic episode. Gotta think about that satellite thing some more. So we want that thing to make satellites. 
when there are no satellites over here, I think. So I, in theory, should be able to run Pata. Let's see. Let's look at Pata. Erudite. Cool. Some pretty cool resources here. Barrel. Uh, they all sound pretty cool. Who knows what they do? So, if there are satellites here, we should turn off the assembler. Now, I just want to think a bit about what that implies. That implies, say this belt was empty and this thing puts a satellite down, it's not going to know to stop until that satellite works its way all the way along the belt over to here, which is fine, I think. What's the assembly time on those? Five seconds. Not perfect, but once it gets there, it, it should... I think that should be okay. So the next question is getting the wire over there, of course. Can you even... Like, if you have two big power poles at max range... Can you just... like this? Is that... Yes, it is a thing. Okay. That's great. That's great to know. Oh, big power poles. Is there anything you can't do? Okay, so... I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna accept... There's one little... Wait... That's the radars. Can this reach? Nope. So it's actually... What we want to do is we'll hold off... This... We'll do a couple of things here. One, we'll upgrade these belts, right? That's step one here. That will help... Them get to their destination, the satellites get to their destination twice as fast, and so the the latency of this line should effectively be halved. Okay. Next question I have. Can you hook up a wire to this? No, you can't. So we either move this power pole, which I think should be fine. I think should be fine. And then get rid of this belt. And we don't need this anymore. Now... Let's go ahead and put... Wait, I thought it was more than one that was on that belt. Whatever, though. We need to introduce a buffer of some sort for the telemetry. We got a problem here. Let's, uh... Think about that some... We can make a storehouse. Anyway, let's let's stay on on topic here. So we hook that up. So if that thing has a satellite on it, we want to turn this belt off. I think enabled condition is satellite. Is less than is less than one. Okay, so it's enabled ostensibly because there is no satellite over here. And indeed, we want this on hold. I assume the satellite is in there. So let's see it work. Except, we'll do...
Wait. So. Was there one over there? What's going on? Something's confusing me. Maybe I need to like output it to a a combinator to see what's going on there. I am confused. I need steel. Okay, we'll put this, uh, we will put our telemetry in the storehouse. Right. And then we'll belt that over to that. Take that down. Okay. So now we have room. But okay. So I guess maybe that's working because there's so let's see let's see right this thing's trying to put a satellite onto a belt that already has several on it so if i pick these satellites up over here i pick these up then oh come on man okay now we should see a little burst of satellites coming making its way yep there they are and so, shortly here, can we upgrade this without causing a scene? There we go. Perfect. So let's watch that. You might not be able to see it with the resolution of the video on YouTube, but... So there they are. They're about going past the guns now. When they get over there, in about five seconds, we'll see this stop. This will lock up. Perfect. I like that. And then we will... Where'd my... Didn't I have some of my inventory? Yeah, I did. There we go. Let's put these on the belt, too. There you go. Launched a lot of satellites today. We're moving... Making big moves now. What are we starving on over here? Green science. I was actually just saying in the overview video that we never starved on green science. And every one of these assemblers is running full blast. So let's do the no-brainer and upgrade them. And then let's go over here and grab some more landfill. I should have grabbed from both of those. Okay.
that should help. It's going to take a little while, but we'll see these start to come more online. It already seeing it happening. More of these are running than were before. So that's great. And I'm pretty sure this thing only uses like engines and iron plates and copper plates. So we are, as far as I can tell, not bottlenecking on anything there. Let's, uh, There we go. Mod pack's getting pretty cool again. I mean, it was always pretty cool, but those last couple episodes, they were a little slow. Let me put this back to auto launch with cargo. Hey, we figured it out, guys. We did it. Now it's not going to fill up that belt. And Gore, you might have said that like 20 episodes ago when we launched our first nav navigation satellite. You very well might have said that, and I'm forgetting it. Industrial furnace. I know you had said that... Uh, that we didn't want to fill up that belt. And you were very correct. So, hold up a sec here. Where, at what point do you get Hoverex? Like, where does... Where do we get... I know it's way out, but I still want to... It's not that far out. What? Oh, wow, we got a lot of stuff to research for that, don't we? I guess Industrial Furnace... Yeah, let's, let's keep going on that. Oh, can't do that one yet. All right, let's just keep getting these out of the way then. Cool. All righty. Uh, let's get our tank down and go on a parade, I think. We got a stack and a half of democracy. Let's fuel up first. We're going to want to run our tank on fuel as well. Uh, there's a couple things in my inventory that I kind of take issue with being there. That's one of them. Let's... Um... Alright, fish. Sorry, you gotta go. Got to think about where we're going to want to park the tank. Also, let's make some gates while we're at it. We're going to want to be able to drive the tank through the wall without destroying the wall. Actually, are we? It's quite a trip. I think I'm going to fly this. <laughs> You know, it's funny how how you can get so into a game and feel like you're building... I mean, this game really, in a lot of ways, it resembles reality, right? And of course it doesn't. Like, so much of it is so insane. Like, all this stuff that's in my inventory. That's kind of what I'm getting at. I'm flying a tank over water here with my little one-person jetpack. And I'm going to put it down, and I'm going to drive it around, and I'm going to pick it up when I'm done with it. But yet, you can get so immersed in the tech tree and stuff. It really... It's fascinating to me. I've always loved that about games and, and pondered that boundary. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I have another boundary I'm pondering right now. One second. Time to go disable automatic satellite launches. Morpheus is here. I wonder if any of these have like a... 
like all these orbits do any of them have platforms like let's let's just pick one and see if there's like a space platform there doesn't look like it but could i go like if if i i kind of want to like scan zone has a generated surface what is Ruin. Okay. So, do any of these... What does that look like again? It looks like a... I guess it looks like a ruin. It's very hard to see. It's very small. The zone has a generated surface. Oh, as in we have already generated the, the surface. <gasps> we got a ruin in the asteroid belt. Oh, what? It's a spaceship. What happened to it? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, man. I'm so excited. I want to go there. And back to the, the, the rambling about games and, and immersion... Like, this has me feeling like I'm looking at, like, a derelict spacecraft on an asteroid belt. And, I mean, look, it's 2D. The asteroids don't move. There's no gravity. There, But yet, it's awesome. All right. Speaking of awesome... wonder if any of these biter nests have expanded. Yep, they sure have. Excuse me. Can you, can you please come repair me now? Can you, oh my goodness. That drone. Can you, you are the worst drone ever. Oh, you, you worthless garbage heap in the sky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, he got away. His friend came out with a repair kit to to come do... You know what? Oh, I can't shoot it with... Oh, I hit the wrong key. Oh, wow, that really... So actually... There's a video I made months ago called Factorio Boys, and it's, it's a video of me and Juicy, a friend of mine, playing base exploration, and we kind of touch on the idea that rocks like these are the most deadly enemy in the game when you're in a tank or a car and they sure haven't changed that from vanilla 
Why are my repair kits not auto stocking? I must that must be out of range. We are like out of repair kits, so I feel like we're gonna Okay. Wow. Six hours till the CME gets here. Well, that was both somewhat enjoyable and very frustrating. Like, I would think that every drone would get out with a repair kit and come try to save me, but just one does, so whatever. Okay, so... What did I come over here to do? See, I'm all tripped up again. Where are those repair kits? That's what I came over for. Why? Uh, excuse me, bots? So I have a order placed here that says, I want repair kits. Where are you? Am I, like, out of my mind? There's coverage here. There's five logistics bots in that one. There's 118. Now, that's a provider chest. Why then? Logistics request. When did that happen? When did I disable logistics requests? And what? Must have been when I was spamming hotkeys. How do I turn them back on? Can we? There we go. Wow. That's been going on this whole game. Wow, it's been going on longer than that. They're bringing me flamethrowers and pipes and... Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. Wow. Alright, folks. I think, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Let's pick another technology here and then I think... Eh, let's research this. Why not, right? What does it take to make that stuff? Oh, we got all that. Well, do we have all that? Adaptive armor MK1. Oh, yeah, we have all that. Has shield hit points. That's cool. So I think this was quite the um, quite the episode. Lots of different things we touched on here. I'm not even going to try to summarize all of it, but to touch on a few, we added more power. We fought some biters. We fought some other biters. We tested new walls that we might use. We forgot to put a gate up because it turns out we're just going to fly our tank across the pond. We fixed a couple more power issues. We built things in the mall. We launched all sorts of satellites. We... We did a lot of stuff this one. This was a good one. It was a lot of fun. Uh, having... I was just going to say having the scale there really helps. And then I realized that we're out of plastic. So I'm not going to look at that this time. Let's just put a note to remind ourselves why um, all the plastic are gone. And put a note to ourselves to remind ourselves next time to go investigate that immediately. Figure that out because something... Yeah, sulfur is down too, so I'm going to go ahead and wager that something got blown up involving oil or who knows. Who knows what's going on, but we'll figure it out. As always, thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed it, Please feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. Any one of those things helps me a great deal in a lot of different ways. It gets the channel more exposure. It shows me that people are enjoying the content and that I should do it more. I, it just, it would be greatly appreciated. And alternatively, and or, you can join our Discord and get notifications of the videos when they go up there. All sorts of fun conversations about Factorio, 
space exploration, other things going on in there. It's a nice group of people, very chill. Um, so yeah, thank you again for joining. See you next time. Have a good one, everybody.